Author Stephen Finichel says of plastic, it symbolizes everything both wrong and right with our culture. The first plastic, called Park Sign, was invented by Alexander Parks in London, England in 1862 and was used to make small household objects. Park Sign was expensive to produce, so it was eventually taken off the market. Later in the 19th century, John Wesley Hyatt invented celluloid as a substitute for ivory in billiard balls. The billiard balls were fragile and broke easily, but celluloid is still used today in film. Plastic can be made easily because it is made from crude oil or petroleum. It can be melted and molded in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Plastics have changed and impacted history by helping to make many products and increasing efficiency, but they can be harmful to the environment. Since the first plastics were invented, plastic has been used in things people use every day. Plastic allows us to make many different products. They have been used in numerous child safe toys from the late 1920s to today. Storage containers used at home and in offices are another example of plastic. It has even been used in food packaging such as saran wrap and produce containers. 500 billion plastic bags are used worldwide each year in stores and these bags can be reused in the home. Plastic is used in appliances we use each day like computers, televisions, and refrigerators. Medical offices and hospitals utilize plastic syringes, pill bottles, and disposable surgical gloves. Plastic is even used in artificial joints such as ankles and shoulder joints. Artificial hearts have been made out of plastic. When dentist Barney Clark received an artificial heart, his blood pressure rose from week 8540 to a normal 119.75. Plastic is not only convenient to use, but it can be a life-saving tool as well. Plastics make producing many products at one time easy and efficient. Plastic is not very expensive to produce. It is durable and it is easy to use for packaging things. Glass, however, is expensive and often breaks during shipping. Styrofoam packaging is never recyclable and often breaks into smaller pieces that children and pets can choke on. One type of plastic, polythene terephthalate, or PET, is often used in soda bottles or water bottles. It can be recycled into synthetic fleece for blankets or jackets. Even in space, Plastic is cheaper and more convenient to use than other materials, but it can be just as strong as a rocket. Strong plastic space tethers have been used to pull or connect objects in space since the 1990s. Nylon, another type of plastic, can be used in the military for parachutes, glider tow ropes, and cords for synthetic rubber tires. The nylon shortage of the 1940s was caused by the need for nylon in the military. During this time, popular nylon stockings and other products were not sold in stores, and the material was sent to the military instead. Prosthetic limbs contain parts made of plastic, so they are light enough to be used by ordinary people. Plastics are efficient and convenient to use not only in the home, but also in the army, outer space, and even with the human body. So much plastic is used worldwide each year that it is harming our environment. Plastic can be recycled, but some argue it is really only worth the effort if everyone recycles plastic and only buys recycled products. Plastics slowly break down into tinier and tinier pieces that pollute waterways and soil instead of decomposing. Carol Ann Rothman, a volunteer at the Clinic for the Rehabilitation of Wildlife, stated that while plastic was useful in the clinic, Many animals are injured each year because of plastic waste. For example, a sea turtle may mistake a plastic bag for a jellyfish, part of its natural diet. Many sea creatures mistake all this plastic for food and are poisoned or choked. It is estimated that 100,000 whales, sea turtles, and other marine life die because of plastic bags each year.
There is a plastic garbage dump in the Pacific Ocean twice the size of Texas. That's 7 million tons of plastic waste. Currents pull plastic out to sea, and it all ends up in one place. They've become insidious global tumbleweeds, wreaking havoc on the environment. Each year, more than 500 billion plastic bags are used worldwide. And because most bags never fully biodegrade, the environment is loaded with tiny pieces. Even small particles can create major problems. Within large swaths of the Pacific Ocean, there are more tiny pieces of plastic than food. But there is good news. The list of countries and cities banning plastic bags is growing, and you can be part of the solution. An environmentally friendly plastic is now being created that is made from corn. This plastic will be completely biodegradable. In the 1980s, scientists made a biodegradable plastic, but it, only 5% of it decomposed in a landfill. In 1990, Two bioplastics were created called Novon and Cargill. These bioplastics are popular because they are completely biodegradable and eco-friendly. These fields of corn aren't destined for the dinner table or the barbecue. They won't be turned into ethanol or animal feed either. The corn will actually be made into a type of plastic. The real difference is that uh, bioplastics are made from renewable resources which are essentially biological in nature. So, our bioplastic is made from corn sugar, uh, and it, but it, to all intents and purposes to a consumer it's just plastic. Oh. Morel plastics and articles made from morel plastics will biodegrade in the environment, for example in compost, hot compost, your backyard compost heap. It will degrade in the soil over time, it will degrade in marine and other uh, water systems where you've got microbial activity. New environmentally friendly plastics will allow us to have all the conveniences of plastic in a green way. Thank you.